Official records state that the Tehiwara Zoo was founded in 1936 by the government of Ceylon, then a British colony. But the origins of what is now one of Asia's oldest zoological gardens can be traced back more than a decade earlier to the 1920s in a German called John Hagenbeck. Hagenbeck moved to Colombo in 1891, eventually acquiring rubber, cocoa and tea plantations. His half-brother, Carl, was a world-famous wild animal dealer who supplied European zoos, and John also began trading in animals in the early 20th century. But the Hagenbeck name is as closely associated with animal zoos as it is with another kind of zoo. Human zoos, or ethnographic exhibitions, were organized and toured across Europe at the time, pioneered in part by the Hagenbeck brothers. In Ceylon, John founded and ran what was then called the Ceylon Zoological Gardens Company on the premises of what is now the Tehiwala Zoo. At the property, he kept live exhibitions, both humans and animals, that he had collected from around the island in preparation for their transfer to exhibitions in Europe and America. These exhibitions were designed to showcase the cultural differences and supposed inferiority of foreign peoples compared to those in the West, particularly emphasizing the perceived primitiveness of non-European civilizations, affirming popular beliefs surrounding eugenics at the time. Human beings from various cultures across Asia and Africa were placed inside large cages or constructed villages in native costumes and made to act the part of the barbarian or the savage in order to entertain Western audiences. Many Sri Lankans who participated in the Hagen Beck's exhibitions were poor and paid meager wages. Some went on to become performers in the Western world, never returning to Ceylon again. In 1939, with the onset of the Second World War, the Ceylon Zoological Gardens Company was liquidated due to Hagenbeck being a German national, and the property was repurposed as a public zoo. John Hagenbeck spent the remainder of his life in Ceylon, marrying and starting a family with a Sinhalese woman. He died in Colombo in 1940.